Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. It is raining heavily in many parts of India, the monsoon rains. And uh, we all love to have charts in this season. So today let's make a very special chart which is uh, popular in Surat, known as Kari chart. This is called as Kari, available in all bakery shops, supermarkets, many places. And this is just like something like a vegetable puff but without any vegetables in it. That's how I can describe it. So this is called as the curry. We are going to use this as the base for our chart. For making any chart, we need different kinds of chutneys to make it chatpata. So okay. first we will make the kata meat or sweet and sour dates and tamarind chutney. I have shown you a different recipe earlier. This is a slight variation. For this, you just take uh, equal quantities of fresh tamarind, remove any seeds if there are, some dates also, remove the seeds and jaggery. Put them all together in a pan and add about 2 to 3 cups of water. Now we will bring, allow this to cook and come to a boil, let it cook for about 10 minutes. See, it is about 10 minutes now and the dates and the tamarind, jaggery have all boiled together very well. We will switch it off. Now, we will allow this to cool. When cool, transfer it to your blender jar and grind it into a paste. See, we have ground it into a fine paste. Just filter out this paste into the same kadai. I am adding another cup of water to this mixer jar. So, whatever peel and fiber there is, we can discard it. Again, switch it on, keep the flame low. And this time, we will add all the masalas and bring it to a boil. This is some roasted and powdered jeera or cumin seeds. Dry roast the jeera and powder it. This is dry ginger powder. I am adding about 1 4 teaspoon of each. This is chilli powder and dhania powder that is coriander seed powder. Add some salt to taste. This is just a teaspoon of fennel seeds that is sumph. Now allow all this to come together and come to a boil once again. See don't worry if your quantities are not exact. Maybe you have slightly less amount of dates, a little more of jaggery. You can mix and match to suit your taste. See the chutney is boiling well now and it has attained the required thickness. Some people even like to add some raisins to this or just some chopped dates. All that is your personal preference. Now we will switch this off. Now I will transfer this to a bowl. So our date and dimbli chutney is now ready for our chat. We will make the green chutney or the mint and coriander chutney. Here I have about uh, two bunches of coriander and one bunch of mint leaves washed and added to that. I am adding two green chillies, a small piece of ginger, about two tablespoons of roasted groundnut. This again roasted and powdered cumin seeds or jeera and uh, some chaat masala squeeze the juice of half a lemon into it add some salt and we will grind this into a fine paste just add about one fourth cup of water while grinding 
our green chutney that is mint and coriander chutney is ground and ready we will transfer this also into a bowl see the consistency of our green chutney this also is ready we will make the spicy red chutney or red garlic chutney those who want to omit garlic can do so here i have taken about 10 of these uh, bedigi red chilies which are not very spicy and i've soaked them in hot water they have been soaking for about half an hour now drain it out from the water add it to your blender jar add about four or five cloves of garlic a small piece of ginger add sugar i am adding this jaggery powder one teaspoon salt to taste roasted and powdered jeera and some lemon juice add the water in which the chilies were soaked just add a little bit and grind it into a fine paste so your spicy red garlic chutney is also done and ready you can keep this a bit thick only chutneys are ready our other elements for the chaat that is some finely chopped onion some boiled and mashed potato finely chopped tomatoes a little bit of this fine shave and uh, this is some kara bundi it's of course optional i like to add it and uh, some chopped dhania leaves salt roasted and powdered jeera chili powder and some pomegranate seeds first just uh, make a small depression like this in these curries you can just use the back of a spoon and do it like this those who are in bombay or gujarat might already be familiar with this recipe but for times when you want something not to eat at a short notice hunger pangs between the evening time 4 to 6 pm or guests at short notice you can easily make this and keep so first add this uh, a little bit of this boiled and mashed potato into each curry next a little bit of finely chopped tomato on top of each Top it with some finely chopped onions now sprin sprinkle some roasted and powdered jeera on top a little bit of chili powder just a pinch and some salt we have already added salt to the various chutneys so don't add too much of salt now top it up with all the chutneys one by one so some date and dimbli chutney next top it up with this green chutney a drop of this red garlic chutney of course you can customize it if somebody doesn't want this red chutney just give them only the sweet and the green chutney sprinkle some of this fine save also known as nylon save on top next some pomegranate it looks very colorful and adds to the taste too this is kara bundi if you like you add if you have if you don't have don't worry i just like the crunchiness of it so i like to add and i have it at home today finally some finely chopped coriander leaves so a very tasty curry chaat 
very colorful and it's filling to a lovely crunchy spicy tangy chatpata taste for you to enjoy if you are a beginner don't ever think that it is difficult to make it's very simple and easy when you come home from a hard day's work or on a sunday afternoon evening you want to have something it's raining outside all you need to have is this uh, curry which is uh, readily available in the stores buy it and keep it with you whenever you want you can open it and use now these chutneys you just have to make once and store it in an airtight box in your fridge it will stay good for 10 to 15 days don't use a wet spoon keep it carefully in the fridge all the other ingredients are your regular routine masalas available at home salt chili powder uh, jeera powder and uh, of course potatoes you can boil the potatoes also and keep ready and you just have to assemble everything so even if you have guests coming at short notice keep all this ready and as as soon as they come you can make this and serve in just no time at all and you won't feel tired too you can just uh, you know take a piece and have it like this and enjoy just one tip don't add all the chutneys and everything and keep it ahead of time it will become soggy keep all your ingredients ready just before serving you can assemble it and serve it takes no time at all thank you for watching the video please subscribe to geeta's kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting video from geeta's kitchen thank you